Hi everyone, my name is Charity and I work in Children's Services at the St. Albert Public Library. Very happy to be able to meet with you today so that we get to bring you another baby rhyme time. Uh, these rhymes have a lot of benefits, including laying a good foundation for literacy skills to develop later on. And we are going to start with the rhyme that we do to start all of our story times. We are going to wave up high. Wave up high, wave down low. Tansy friends, we say hello. Here we meet on Treaty 6. Stories, songs, and finger tricks. Wave up high, wave down low. Tansy friends, we say hello. Hello. Today I thought we would do some fun active rhymes and we are going to start with the bicycle song. So the bicycle song is a great one for gassy babies. It's also just a lot of fun. So it's a good one to go uh, with that um, bicycling motion that you do with their legs. So this one, I am going to lay my baby out in front of me or on my legs and the bicycle song goes like this. I have a little bicycle, I ride her to and fro, and when I see a green light, I know it's time to go. I have a little bicycle, I ride around the town, and when I see a yellow light, I know to slow down. I have a little bicycle, I got it at the shop, and when I see a red light, I know it's time to stop. Stop is a good concept to get in. All children need to learn how to stop. So why not uh, start with that concept early as well? So we'll do that one again. I have a little bicycle. I ride it to and fro. And when I see a green light, I know it's time to go. I have a little bicycle, I ride around the town, and when I see a yellow light, I know to slow down. I have a little bicycle, I ride it at the shop, and when I see a red light, I know it's time to stop should mention to any big brothers or big sisters that are watching along with baby as well that you can always bicycle with your hands. Wish I had mentioned that one at the start, but just in case you watch again, that's something that you can do. Another rhyme that we can do is big red bus. This one's lots of fun. It has lots of, uh, or a few different verses. We're just going to do the first. This one is good because when you are pairing movements to vocabulary, it helps to make that concrete connection. So this one has some good opposites. We have some big, some mini, and the rhyme goes like this. A big red bus, a big red bus, a mini, 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 and a big red bus, a big red bus, a Big red bus, a mini, 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 and a big red bus. Ferrari, Ferrari. Mini, 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 and a big red bus. Ferrari, Ferrari. Mini, 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 and a big red bus. So, of course, we've got the wind blowing through our hair <laughs> in that rhyme there. We'll do it again. A big red bus. A Big red bus, mini, 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 and a big red bus. Big red bus, big red bus, mini, 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 and a big red bus. Ferrari, Ferrari, mini, 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 and a big red bus. Ferrari, Ferrari, mini, 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 and a big red bus. Uh, that rhyme, if you're familiar with it, um, it's good It's good to repeat. Children learn through uh, repetition. So uh, practice the rhymes, repeat them. Um, it's always fun to do them again. 
The last rhyme we're gonna do is a favorite at a story time, so perhaps you're familiar with it. With that in mind, we are going to do the elevator song. Now, of course, this is one you can do fully standing. I can't stand up uh, right now, but you can do it fully standing as well, so you can get a lot of motion in. Uh, my experience has been that most children really enjoy it, but there is um, a child or two lots of times who uh, does not enjoy the full motion. So just be mindful of that. If your child doesn't enjoy this rhyme, then uh, don't do this one until they're ready for it. It just might not be the right time for them. Uh, but like I said, my experience has been most babies really love it. And uh, so we are going to do the elevator song and it goes like this. Oh, the city is great. Oh, the city is grand. There's a lot of tall buildings on a little piece of land. And we live all the way on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, and we turn around. And of course, if I was standing, we could turn all the way around. <laughs> I'll try that one again. Here we go. Oh, the city is great. Oh, the city is grand. There's a lot of tall buildings on a little piece of land and we live all the way on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, and we turn around. <laughs> My apologies. I am aware that singing is not exactly my strong suit, uh, but at the same time, I want to make sure that if singing is not your strong suit, either your baby or child doesn't care. They just want to have fun with you. That's the marvelous thing about babies and young children. We're going to end with our uh, closing rhyme. We are going to wave up high. Wave up high. Wave down low. Little friends, it's time to go. We've had lots of fun today. Now it's time to run and play. Wave up high, wave down low. Little friends, it's time to go. Bye. Be sure to follow us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, give us your comments. Um, feel free to contact us as well. Uh, emails are still getting through. And we look forward to seeing you next week for another Baby Rhyme Time. <laughs>